To help you better understand the key differences between screen printing and digital printing, I've put together some examples for us to take a look at. We'll talk about which print method would be best and why using some real world scenarios so that you can apply it to your own order. So let's take a look at a couple designs and I'll walk you through the details. The first example is this stay creative design you've probably seen featured a few times. It's actually an image that I've uploaded into the design studio and I selected two colors from the drop down once it uploaded and decided to pick matching colors from our palette. Now that I've arranged it on the shirt here, I'm ready to order so I'll head up to quote and buy. So let's say that I only wanted to order three of these for a couple people on our team. In that case, I'd wanna select digital printing just because that will allow me to print fewer than 12 pieces and the processing time is only one to two days. If you don't see digital printing as an option available, it's because it's not compatible with the product or color you have selected. So just head back and swap it out for an option labeled with no minimum. But let's say that I wanted to order this design for more people and I did need 12 of them printed. It's cheaper to order 12 of them with screen printing because there's only two colors in this design. And you can see how big the bulk discounts are if I wanted to order even more with screen printing. The processing time for standard screen printed orders is about five business days. You get free shipping and you can pick from any of the styles and colors that are in the apparel catalog. Now for a pro tip. If you wanna save even more money, you can change the apparel color to white and get a little bit of a price break. And this is true for digital printing and screen printing. But you can also check out some value priced apparel options. The Ultra Cotton Tee is the default t-shirt in the design studio and is just about the cheapest option out there. But I really like to recommend the soft style t-shirt. It's noticeably softer and more fitted than the Ultra Cotton Tee and it's still a very cost effective option. The second example we'll take a look at is this t-shirt design that I made for my fictional landscaping business. I actually made this design using one of our design templates, and that means that every bit of it was made right here in the design studio, and it's fully customizable. If you're interested in getting started with a template, just check out all the categories in our design template section. So let's say that I wanted to order 12 of these for all of my employees. If I select screen printing and get my quote, you'll see that it's actually a bit cheaper to digitally print this design. That's just because this design I've made has five colors. The last one we looked at is only two, and the cost for screen printed orders is based on the number of colors in your design. If I didn't wanna order any more, I could get it a bit cheaper with digital printing, but let's say that I wanted to order 24 of them just so that everyone can have two. Now you can see that screen printing is cheaper just because those bulk discounts were applied and it gets even cheaper per t-shirt if I order more. For either 12 or 24 pieces, if I had a specific Pantone color for my brand and wanted the ink colors matched to it, I would need to select screen printing and I can leave that as a note here. Or if I just really want a style or fabric color that's only available for screen printing, I can still do that. Now for another pro tip. With a design like this one, you can usually reduce your color count by at least one just by using some smart designing and that can save you some money. It's an easy trick to use the color of the apparel in the design itself. For example, let's get rid of this blue sky in the middle of the design and just select a shirt color that can replace it. First, I'll switch to an apparel color that's closer to that sky blue. Then select this piece of the design and change the blue color to this shirt color swatch. Now my design is only four colors, which will save me some money, but using this tactic can also make your design look even better with the t-shirt it's on. The last example I have is this event t-shirt design that I made by uploading a photograph and pairing it with some text from the design studio. It's pretty common for customers to put together photographic designs like this one. And with digital printing, we can absolutely print full color photographs. But I think we can really improve on this design and at the same time, make it better suited for screen printing so that if you're ordering for a whole event, you can get the best price possible. The first thing we can do to make this design look better is to feather the edges so that the photograph blends into the shirt and gets rid of this stark rectangle. The next thing is to simplify the photograph to a monochromatic color scheme that matches the shirt color and it's just a few colors. To do this, just label your photograph with three colors when you upload it and include these notes when you save your design and ask for a proof of the changes. Go ahead and place your order and during our review and design preparation process, 
Our art department will make the changes noted in your design and you'll receive an email with an image for you to look over. And this is what those changes would look like. The design is now only a three color print that better matches the text, fits better on the t-shirt, and all around is much better designed. Now for a final pro tip. If you ever want any kind of design simplified to fewer colors, just leave a note with your design when you order, letting us know how many colors you'd like it simplified to. Once your design changes are made, our customer service department will make sure to update any order costs to make sure you're getting the best price possible.